More than a week after wildfires devastated Hawaii, local officials are now facing criticism for how they have responded to the crisis. Search and rescue crews are still attempting to find any survivors on the island of Maui. After spending days camping out in cars and parking lots, people on the island of Maui are filling up hotels and vacation rentals. Their homes destroyed in last week's devastating wildfires. Authorities here are hoping to clear out crowded shelters by early next week. The Red Cross says hotels are prepared to house displaced residents until at least next spring. The Red Cross will work with everyone and everyone who is eligible will be, uh, will be given access to hotel rooms. Hawaiian officials now facing growing criticism over how they prepared for these wildfires. On Thursday, the state's attorney general announced plans for an independent review of the response. It all comes as the head of the island's emergency management agency resigned, citing health reasons. Earlier this week, he defended his decision not to sound disaster sirens when flames erupted. There are no sirens, Malka, or on the mountainside, where the fire was spreading down. So even if we sounded the siren, it would not have saved those people on the, on the mountainside. Meanwhile, search and rescue efforts continue across the island. But as folks here assess the damage, some say they haven't even had time to grieve. We definitely need some time to think, to ponder upon, you know, the, the next uh, uh, the next couple weeks and what we need to do uh, to, to uh, stay strong for the long haul. As of Thursday, officials say more than half of the burn zone in Lahaina has been searched.